Yeah, this weekend um, is the Air Force invite. It's we're the only Division Two team going, uh, so this is kind of a good chance for us to get better competition than what we'll get at the RMAC. Um, you know, the RMAC super strong with a couple divers uh, returning our national champion and OBU having a national champion. Um, so, but this is going to be stronger for us to get us ready for uh, for our Black Tuesday for you know qualifying day. Um, get us ready for nationals. I think it'll be a good good chance for us to to see better diving than uh, what we will up to that point. So uh, it's it's going to be important for these two and you know our other three going that will be going to nationals to see that. Um, and the seasons, you know, it's, it's been a long season. We have one of the longer seasons on campus, but uh, we fought some injuries, you know, fought back, and and I think we're we're really looking good the last couple of weeks heading into championship season. Awesome. Questions. Sorry, go ahead. So what do you do for an encore after last year? None what? You know, I mean, <laughs> you, you, you've won every every match, every meet you've been in. You've won two national championships as a freshman. I mean, what do you, what keeps it's, pushing you? I mean, the team here is pretty different. And um, the idea for competing to help the team itself, like it's not an individual sport. Like back home it was like just individual sport. So here you just feel like I need to try to get as as points as I can for the team, so that pushed me more, and um, I feel like I love competing here. You know, it's 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 pretty fun, so that's why I feel like, yeah, I'm getting really better. Are yeah. you just trying to fine tune every dive at this point, getting ready for nationals. Exactly. Yes, I'm trying to do as the best as I can for for achieving more and more. Yeah. I mean, I mean, the women, I mean, every every week, somebody else is, you know, qualified for nationals, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. The depth on this team is just, does that kind of push you every week? Yeah, it's definitely exciting. We have a lot of depth of talent on the girls' side, so we kind of go into meets not knowing who's going to have the better day, but just knowing that we'll come out on top and we'll have a lot of girls in those top spots. Um, so, yeah, it's exciting. So, what do you, how do you keep developing this team. I mean, it's just every year you get somebody else that all of a sudden just yeah, I mean, I think the biggest part is, you know, having athletes like these two and, and the guys and girls that we do have, just they come in and from day one, um, we teach them, you know, we're not cocky, we're confident. We, we want to be the best and that's why we're here. Um, you know, I can get them there if they put the work in and they're buying in on their side. So, you know, just buying into the process and, and really getting them to, to understand that, you know, there's gonna be days that we just go through the motions, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be awesome but knowing that those days that were not awesome lead to really awesome days at Nationals and RMAX. So uh, just getting them to buy into the process has been you know, my motto for five years, so. Top 10 nationally, both men's and women's swimming and diving for the first time ever. Is that a big deal to you guys? <laughs> it is a big deal. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely pretty cool. Now we need to get to Nationals and, and actually you know, be top 10 for the first time ever. And, um, I know as a coach here for five years that we've been building and building, um, that's something that us as a coaching staff and as a team, you know, that we strive for that. Does that number get smaller? Does it add more pressure? Do you think you guys to perform with that expectation? I don't know if that's pressure. I think that's excitement. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Going into a, a meet against all Division One, and here you are, you know, the, the, the little Division Two school. Does that just kind of make you focus a little bit more, or you just don't worry about it? Um, it's definitely nerve-wracking, but it's also exciting. Like Logan was saying, it gives us the opportunity to compete against kids at a higher level, but also knowing that we stack up well with them, if not. And um, yeah, it just provides a, a new platform for us to compete on and kind of test our skills against higher level kids. I feel like that that is, makes me dive better when I compete with D1. You know, mm -hmm. it's like another level. So I love competing with D1. So tell us a little bit about what you did over Christmas with the uh, Egyptian <laughs> whatever national. It was Egyptian nationals, yes. Okay. So uh, we went there. Uh, Logan came with me. It was it was fun. It was um, a week, I think, and um, it was pretty hard for like qualifying but 
I made it, and then we're still still waiting for more. Yeah, and, and you won what synchronized diving and uh, yeah, synchronized. How different is that to try to actually? Pair up your dives with somebody that. It's just, yeah, we're trying to not focus with the other divers. Like, if I'm synchronized with another dive, um, I cannot focus with him. So, if i just watching him dive while I'm diving, I cannot do that. I cannot do it. So, once we ready to go, we just, everyone in his, uh, like, his own. So, that will just go, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't imagine trying to do that. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta jump the right time. And yeah. Just the timing of it is, has gotta be hard. But I mean, I, I know you want to qualify for the Olympics, and this is kind of the next step in that. It so. is, yes. So what I need to do is try to beat the, um, the Egyptian guy who beat me on that one and three meter. Once I do that, I can qualify to Olympics. Yeah. The first win another national championship or two, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, what we're looking to see uh, on the guy side is is for Noah and Amar and Chandler to to try to make finals. Um, it's going to be, you know, Amar definitely has the best chance. Noah has a great chance. It's going to be a big chance for for Chandler. Um, it's definitely a meet where he's going to have to step up to be top twelve. Um, but doing so, it's going to be great for for him moving into into nationals. Um, we're gonna look on, you know, on the girls' side is having them go against girls doing full two and a half lists. Um, her and Natalia, um, just kind of see how we need to adjust our confidence and you know our, our plan of attack going into nationals. Um, see what worked in warmups, what didn't. Um, you know, it's it's just a back and forth game where you know I can treat the guys' warmups completely different than the girls' warmups. Uh, sometimes the guys need a little more attention. You know, it, it just really depends on the meet. So, um, so we're just kind of looking to see what we need to do in that final tune-up before our max. Hopefully, go into our max when you know some more our max titles and and know where we've got to be and what we've got to do to to be ready.